All right, but now you guys know that I like cool tools. And this one I've had for a long time and I've re used it recently. I thought it'd be nice to share it. A lot of, a lot of people aren't aware of it unless you're in you know, the trucking business and you deal with truck trailers and frames and all that. But it's, it's a reamer. Some people call it a bridge reamer. As you see, I like the ones that are spiraled. They call them a rapid reamer. Um, and also, I prefer the ones that have the stop collar on them, just so you're not, you know, safety, a better safety option there. But uh, the whole gist of this video is to uh, basically explain, like, in any small shop, you're always in a situation where you, you got a piece of metal and you need to enlarge the hole. And old school is back, like they taught me in high school metal class, you know, you drill a pilot hole and you keep jumping up drill bits until you get the size you need. Um, the years that I've been selling tools and uh, speaking with manufacturers of drill bits and cutting tools, um, they all um, strongly recommend that a, a drill bit was designed to cut from start to finish. In other words, if you want a three quarter inch hole, you grab a three quarter inch drill bit, no pilot hole, and you start cutting and the holes there. Um, once again, most people are old school and we're doing a step process. The disadvantage of that is here I got a 5 16 hole, say I needed a half inch hole, I'd grab a half inch drill bit and what normally happens, because those are designed to start from the center, you're starting on the edge, you're starting on the cutting edge somewhere in the middle of that bit and you're going to chip it. And that's the reason the drill bit manufacturers don't want you to do that, obviously. So that's where reamers come from uh, that are a good option. Step bits are nice. They're newer. You can see plenty of videos out on YouTube on those. They're expensive, um, but they're good. This old trusty reamer has done me well. Uh, you can get these things up to an inch and a half in diameter. This 5 8 one has done me well in this shop. Um, here's the 5 8 hole I just practice on. And then I got a 5 16 hole here that I'm going to show you how easy this is um, to do. Once again, cutting, you need the oil. And it's just as easy as, once again, in drilling, it's, it's um, feed, not speed. I'll stop it here just as I remembered. I, I use the 5 8 because I have so many different size holes between. So say I wanted a, this to be a half inch, I can take a mic, figure out where the half inch point is on this bit, put some masking tape around it, and drive it in until I get to the masking tape, and I have a half inch hole. Once again, not having to ruin the drill bit or buy an expensive step bit. So for this purpose, I'm going to go all the way through to the the 5 8 hole. Yep, my M12 not quite enough to get there. Let's pick up the speed a little bit. There we go. Probably should have grabbed the M18 for that job. Um, that's simple. Once again, using a drill bit, you probably wouldn't have got that hole centered. That's another advantage about this. I've even had issues with a step bit where I w didn't get it quite centered. But most time you're just needing a rough hole because you're, you're going to put a bolt through it or a screw through it. This, if it's thicker and you need to, once again, this is tapered, so like a 3 8 piece of steel, which this will go through no problem, you're going to have a tapered hole. Um, say you have that half inch tape on there and you want a straighter cut, you can always come to the other side and go through this way and get that edge a little cleaner. But great tool to have around. Something like this will probably cost you 39, 40 bucks. Um, like I said, I've had this for six years, if not longer. Just a real good tool to have around. Um, because even, even in a woodworking shop, you know, you're gonna have times you gotta put cut through metal in large holes. So hope this uh, information helped you out. Um, please subscribe if you like these videos and I'll keep them coming. Talk to you later. Bye.